Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and um, we seem to be on a roll here with the uh, census carried out in the in the early part of the Book of uh, Numbers. And I want to those of people who who have been watching these videos know that um, I'm intrigued and attracted to seemingly unusual. Um, phraseology, use of words, and um, in Parshas Naso, in the, the fourth chapter of the Book of Numbers, verse 22, we have a very interesting, well, to me, an interesting um, phrase. Take a census of Bnei Gershon, the, the sons of Gershon. Gershon, I believe, is a, uh, Moses' son. So these are, we're talking about a, a sub-family of the Levites. Take a census of Bnei Gershon Gamhem, also them, uh, as well, they too. And uh, it seems to be unusual. You did take a census, uh, take a census of this person, and of this person, take a census of this. Oh, and take a, a census of uh, the sons of Gershon too. And it seems like a, an offhand kind of thing to say. It just struck my eyes weird. Um, now, part of the responsibilities of Bnei Gershon, the, the sons of Gershon, was to participate in the musical accompaniment to some of the uh, Kabardas Tzibor, the, um, the communal uh, offerings. And this is a duty that the Talmud in uh, Tractate Arachin um, characterizes as labor. As, as uh, labor. Now, it was Harav Moshe Feinstein who explains the significance of this expression, gamheim, them too, the, they as well. Um, and it's, it says that it's the Torah's way of telling us that there's no difference, no difference exists between the work performed by Bnei Kahas, the sons of someone, a Levite by the name of Kahas. Now his sons were given the duty to carry the, um, the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, a, a seemingly uh, important and prestigious uh, job, uh, duty, service. There's no difference between uh, the work uh, performed by the Bnei Kahas, the sons of Kahas, who carry the Aron Kodesh, and the work of Bnei Gershon, the sons of Gershon, who uh, were seemingly not involved in, uh, in as holy an endeavor. So, what uh, Harav Moshe Feinstein was stressing was that what one does is really not all that significant. It's how and why one performs his duties and obligations and by doing the commandment of God, by doing the word of God. And they were all carrying out the will of God. And in the same way, the same idea explains uh, uh, Rav Moshe Feinstein, uh, applies to the area of Torah Chinuk, uh, Torah education. There's no difference between a Rosh Hashiva, a, a dean, uh, a head of a rabbinical uh, academy who lectures to, um, to the older, um, the young men of the, uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the yeshiva, and even to erudite uh, laymen, and an ordinary, everyday Rebbe who teaches uh, young children. If they act l'shem shemayim, if they act uh, for the sake of heaven, in the name of uh, heaven, if they ver view their work as carrying out the will of God to disseminate Torah, they are both equally praiseworthy. We, can't, we don't know which mitzvah, which duty, which uh, avoda, which service is more important in the eyes of God. They're equally praiseworthy. Perhaps uh, if... Um, more prospective educators would keep this in mind. Um, Torah Hinuk, Torah education, uh, could build a new image. Uh, this rank and status, um, this COVID, uh, I know it's, it's human nature and I know it's a, it's a natural thing, but um, the quote unquote lowly teacher of young children is doing God's work just as much as a Rosh Hashiva. Uh, as the head of the uh, of the rabbinical school, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines.
please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Vanille, and thank you so much.